I got to cut around some of my hives today and as a bonus feature I'm going to show this little cool little tilt trailer my dad had built a few years ago uh, he had his neighbor built it and then he went and had it galvanized and it's pinned right here in the front them up a little bit so I'll wait for a little while before I make another pass anywhere close. Man would you look what I found today. I'm out here cleaning all my property and found a couple of big scuppernog vines growing up through the trees. I don't know if you can see them up through there. They're all over the place and they're pretty loaded down with grapes. There's some more up there, a whole bunch up there. It's probably going to take me a while to get these things down out of the trees and grow it on something where I can enjoy them. But uh, these are scuppernogs or some people call them muscadines and they are a natural wild growth to our area. So. These are probably not planted, they're probably just wild growth. So I'm thankful to have them, they're a blessing. They, they are uh, extremely sweet and they probably won't fill you up, but they're kind of like eating huckleberries or blackberries. You can stand around and eat all you can find. Look how juicy they are. Very, very sweet. These, these are sweeter than any other grape I've ever had and uh, there's there's the seeds in them there's usually about four seeds per grape i never tried to plant any but i suppose you could if you wanted to this one here is the bigger of the two and it is it's spread out over about 60 foot in width and probably 30 foot high into the trees so it's going to take me a lot of effort to get this thing on a trellis where i can enjoy it but it's got just as many grapes as a smaller one and they're a little more uh they're a little further along and ripening and I guess it's because they're out in the sun a little more. But these ones that look overripe, the more they ripen, the darker the juice gets and the sweeter they get. And man, these things are so good. They get almost a wine flavor when they're really overripe. If I could find a wrinkly one and squeeze it. Here's a real good wrinkly one. Let's squeeze it and see what color juice comes out of it. Yeah, look at a deep burgundy color. Yeah, look at that. Mm. This is how you eat a scuppernog. Hold one or two in your fingers. Squeeze them out in your mouth and suck the juice out of them. Throw the skins on the ground because the skins will leave kind of a bitter aftertaste. Spit the seeds out and enjoy the rest of it.